morning everybody welcome to a beautiful calm Ventura coastline this morning and uh, inflatable boat specialists have invited me out here to drive a few of their rib boats which are boats with rigid hulls and uh, inflatable rib outers so this is Frankie Ramirez and thank you for joining me sir yep. and uh, giving me a tour of the Pro Open 650 tell me about this boat so the Pro Open 650 is uh, one of the most popular Zodiac boats in their lineup uh, reason being truly it has to do with the seating configuration in the back you got stern seating so three across behind here three across you got two at the pilot's helm and then you got another one up at the bow if you want to add a cushion to that so oh so a cushion could go up there absolutely yeah, okay. and you can actually add a full sun deck to lay out in oh, that cool. whole section so if you want for to now just... that's an anchor locker right? yeah correct yeah. correct okay, cool mm -hmm. um, aside from that you have the walkabout space right next to the console so you can go from the front of the boat to the stern of the boat without jumping any over anything or any obstacles aside from that the fuel economy um, and stability and buoyancy of the boats due to the boat's weight it's a very light boat what due is this to boat the uh, something like this uh, truly fueled up and everything you're talking 2,500 pounds so, oh it's very light yeah and any, 650 is 6.5 meters so correct. what are we looking we're at we're talking 20, feet? 21 feet I, uh, 21 foot 8 inches is okay. the 650 Pro open uh, this one has the twin 70 configuration you can also have it in a single 150 or a 115 okay so uh, this but twin 70 is the uh, is the is is that what most people go with? Uh, it's actually split between uh, the 150 and the Twin 70s. It's a preference thing. With the Twin 70s, you get a little bit more uh, stability with the motors due to the twin engines. You have 60 extra pounds compared to the 150. Okay. Um, with that, you basically end up keeping the boat glued to the water. So even in choppy conditions, you might get some rough um, sea state, but it just keeps going straight through. And with, counter rotating, of course. Uh, right? No, actually, oh, they're no. both standard rotation. Really? Um, you don't get into counter rotating until you get into like the 150s or so. Oh, okay. Um, with the 150 setup, however, what I can tell you is you have a higher top end speed. It's 51 compared to 42 ish with the uh -huh. twin 70s. However, to achieve the 51, you're usually chine walking, so it's unstable, so you usually don't get that performance out of it. Well, as someone who is the owner of a boat with two engines and who has had one go out, Trust me, uh, this guy right here wants twins. I, I, I If twins are available, I'll always have twins. That makes two of us. Yeah, Redundancy yeah. is key. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I want to get home more than I need 10 miles an hour. Exactly. God forbid. And these these four strokes are really, they're good motors, but God forbid something happens, I want to get home. I agree, you 100%. Know? So, um, great. So, uh, this has the, these, uh, this, the 70 horsepower four stroke Yamahas. I like this new digital gauge yeah. cluster. That's new for this year, right? Yeah, actually, it or, started last year, the 6YC. Um, they also have the 6 Y9, which is a uh, nicer, fancier looking display, but the 6YC has been a popular seller. It's it way better than the OG ones. Yeah, I have. the circular gauges, yeah, yeah. even with digital, they were yeah. fancy, but this is just night and day compared yeah. to something like that. All right, well, let's see uh, Let's see how it is on power. We've got dual throttles yep. in gear, normal. Ooh, they've really lightened the weight of yep. these throttles. Yep. And uh, even just, just straight to 1800 RPMs, like, from zero to that, I could actually feel the light weight of the boat. Like, it just, no resistance against the water there. Yeah, I agree. And it jumps on plane pretty quick. Uh, yeah. As you'll feel it, as you're giving it and revving it up a little bit, you can also start trimming it out and you'll feel it just lay down and you probably won't even feel it lay down because how smooth it is. All right, well, let's give it a little juice. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Right there, plane. Yeah, that was 10 feet it took. If that. Yeah. yeah. Great performing boat, honestly one of the best selling boats in our shop. You gotta talk loud because we got wind. I got this you. is nice. So 4,900 RPM, what's a good cruising RPM for these motors? Uh, truly you max out at 5,900, that's oh, the wow. sweet spot. So I was running at 5,900 RPM just before you came on board and you can honestly cut the corners, do whatever you want at that RPM, and especially in this condition. Yeah, it's nice and calm out here. So even. 4,500 RPM, we're doing 24 knots. See a little back and forth. Wow, really flat. Yep. So it doesn't really lean over too much in the corners. It kind of, it, it glides across a little bit. If you want to cut it really hard, it'll literally cut really hard and just do a hard turn. Wow, that's a tight donut. Yeah. yeah. Really tight. If you want to go to a figure eight. Good transitions too. Yep. Engines bog down a little if you get it tight, but it, it doesn't do a drift. It sticks and it goes. It, it'll all be on your trim as well. If you have it trimmed out a little bit, you can go tighter and faster. Okay, let me trim up a little here. You'll usually want to be about three to four on okay. the bars. Okay, all right. 
And I noticed this has trim tabs for the hull as well. Is uh, it, no, are that for the, the engines? They're individual oh, or okay. together. Oh, all right, all right. My boat has the, the that's the for hull tab. and that's for engines. Yeah. Okay. So let's see what it does uh, on some on some motor. Wow, it really pulls from 4,000. Nice. It really does. Once yeah. you get into the fives, it's it's all over. You can do anything in there. I'm gonna go right to the right on the boards there. 5,600. That's 32 knots there. Watch out, bird. <laughs> let's see how it carves some corners at speed. Yeah. All right, let's go. Wow, it got good grip on the water. I'm drooling, sorry. <laughs> it sticks really good, that's nice. That has to do with the twin setup and the hull configuration. It's just that their R&D that they put into their hulls at Zodiac is unbelievable. They do drop test, crush test, you name it. They need to make sure that their hulls are performing. I'll tell you what, and, and uh, let me, let's bring it down a bit just for some sound because I want to make sure they can hear us talk. I, well, I hope they can. <laughs> let's let's just. Sorry, guys. We're gonna uh, we're gonna go. We'll go a little quieter on these mics. Hopefully, we're not peeking them out. Still a new thing for me. I'm working on it. So we've got a really small wake, actually. So good for pulling a skier. Yeah. Maybe not so much for a wakeboarder if you're trying to do some jumps, but exactly. for uh, for water skiing, that's a really small, manageable wake. And with this tight. Wow, look how tight that turning radius, radius is. Yeah. That's a really, that's really tight. Yeah, and keep in mind with the twin setup, if you ever need to be in a tight spot to do a turn, you can put you one can, more, one reverse. You can tank style it, yeah. So, all right, be straight with me though. What happens, you're out on the water, that rib gets punctured. You have five chambers in this guy. You can truthfully lose every single chamber, the hull's still gonna float. The hull will float on its own with no rib. Yes, all correct. right. It, it'll be uh, a crappy run back to the harbor. Right, but, but you'll, make, you'll it. make it. You yeah. will make it. Yeah, okay, absolutely. that's cool. Let's do, I'm gonna do a higher speed figure eight and see how it does that. Right. Uh, right out. Man, it, it really gets up and goes. That's that's the difference between having horsepower and having light weight, yeah. you know? Yep. And the balance of the boat has a lot to do with it. There's boats out there that you can put the same configuration, but it's not gonna perform the same because the way they've designed the boat. So it's yeah. unbelievable how flat this thing corners. <laughs> you know, on the one hand, I like when a boat leans over, you know? Yeah. You, I like when it dives into that corner. On the other hand, it's pretty cool that this one stays so flat. Let's hop this wing. Oh. Little nice. Guy. Little guy. <laughs> Nothing, yeah. Yeah, that's the other thing is, this boat, it seems like a very considerate boat because you're not making a big wake for other people, you yeah. know? It's about the largest boat you want to have that a single person can manage. This is good. I like this boat. That's a great boat. All right, full throttle. One more run for a minute. I hope you guys can hear me. If not, I'm doing my best, I promise. <laughs> this is a really fun boat. It's really responsive. I've got a, I've got a twin engine whaler, you know, that's a little bigger than this, but it feels like a fucking tugboat compared yeah. to this thing. The weight, the weight has a lot to do yeah. with it. They're like little personal watercraft on steroids. I like this. This is a good boat, man. And a big design on the Zodiacs that makes it give a smoother ride is the tube set. It slips on from the bow back, so it's not glued to the boat. And I'm sorry, wait, say that again? So the tube set, they're on a track system on the hull. Huh. So they start at the bow and they slip on like a pair of pants. Oh, okay. So if this is deflated, it will sag down and you can pull the tubes off. The great thing about that is when we're running, you're getting all the flex in the tube, but oh, not in the hull. Oh, that's, so that's why it's a smooth so run. So because it moves independently, yeah. it's not like, uh, so it's sort of like having like a pre-runner suspension yes. where it takes in some of that yes. shock, shock for itself. you. Rather than being glued to the hull. Oh, that's so if interesting. glued to the hull, you're gonna feel it all throughout the whole structure. Yeah, yeah, okay. And so I uh, see Memphis Audio, Bluetooth stereo, correct, I imagine. Correct. We got Speakers all around. Yeah. So how much is this thing? 
Uh, as equipped with these twins. It, uh, twin setup with all the features this one has. Um, this all gonna, the goodies? Yeah, this one has underwater lights, interior lights, you name it, all the bells and whistles. Something like this is normally about uh, 60 to 70 grand. Oh, it's uh, not so bad. Yeah, base price with it without the frills on it. Uh, comes standard with the LCD display, but you're talking with the twins about 52. Dude, I think fully loaded for 70 grand. This is a lot of boat. Yeah, it it's a is. lot of boat. You're spending a lot more money in a rigid hull boat than you are with one of these. And the big part is you're going to save it in the fuel economy because you can run. This has a 50 gallon tank I've been running for about an hour now. And we're one, 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 one bar, bar out of what, 10, 10, 10, 10 yeah. bars? So fuel economy wow. is unbelievable on these. Yeah, things. wait, can we can we actually see what the actual fuel economy is? Uh, not on no, this guy, okay. unfortunately. Um, I'll have to play well, around with it. We it's can a. It's a lovely little boat, it's a great and little I guess package. because it's light, you can tow it behind. You don't need a, as big of a vehicle to Six tow it. Six cylinder right? generally is all you need. Like a, like a Jeep Grand Cherokee yep. or something, yep. you could tow this absolutely. with. Standard issue SUV. Yep, absolutely. Ah, oh, it's so cool, man! And what a great little boat. It's a cool boat, and they also make a little brother to it. That's an 18 footer, which if you don't want to pay storage fees and store it in the garage, yeah. that's something that you can do. It's just a smaller layout. Same I'll tell you what, Frankie, this I, this boat makes a lot of sense. It does. It's a versatile little boat. I like. I'm, I'm glad I came. I came out here because I'm not just. I'm not doing a marketing thing. No one's paying me. Like I just. I always thought these were interesting, and they drive really good. They really do. They, they do. really do. Like, that makes two of us. I, I've only been on staff for about five years prior to me coming on staff. Only five, five years. <laughs> I, I, I hadn't experienced any ribs, but after being with the staff, being on ribs, and then being. I grew up on whalers, and aside from yeah. that, it's just. There, nothing performs like this. Well, every, perform. everyone I've met who works at this company says I'm never going back to a to a rigid hull because it's reason. just it's at it's add lightness when the boat is so light. I mean, I did not realize that you could go so fast with twin seventies. <laughs> like I'm like oh seventies well, like what what's the do? big 20? deal? <laughs> no, but it, you know we're cruising 33, 34 knots comfortably. Comfortably, that's pretty good. Yeah. That's amazing. I mean, my boat is a 26 foot boat and it only had not to make it about my boat but just for comparison my was a 26 foot boat twin 200s mm -hmm. and my max is 30 knots absolute max <laughs> gotcha. you gotcha. know what yeah. i mean yeah. and and so you you get a lot for for not much with this so yeah. thanks very much man of course. Thanks uh, for inflatableboats.net yep. uh check out the website if you're in ventura they got a big showroom you can check it out they they also service anything with an outboard and thank you for having me i, I appreciate this uh Lovely day on the water, man. Thank We're going to keep doing it. One wake. Uh, well, I don't even know what I'm doing, but I hope, <laughs> I hope you guys like these boats because uh, it's a change of pace and it works good for me. So uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you later.